seeing the beauty and strength of which his body is capable, which is why it's such a shame he died 2300 years before Greece was ruled by Kyriakos Grizzly. As you guys probably know by now, I am somewhat... That guy is a beast. Have you seen that guy? The Russian guy looks millions of anything pounds. Anything involving jacked men with big egos trying to do something better than some other guy. And while hosting a podcast is a topic for another day, today we're talking about bodybuilding. Now, the vast majority of people who are into bodybuilding just like the idea of getting jacked rather than trying to actually compete, which is a much better objective. That is especially good because competing requires steroid uses which is just awful don't, don't do that either. at all so One of the most common yeah, reasons don't guys get into bodybuilding is because they want to get girls and while you get over that phase quickly a big reason for this is because many want to be bodybuilders started their gym journey yeah a lot of people think that you're going to get the girls when you lift um there's grains of truth to that but I bench pressed 315 pretty early in my life and I got a lot, what body a lot, type a lot girls like from guys. guys. Now, this is an eye-opener because the answer is rarely C-bum, Ronnie Coleman, or you. We gotta cut this part out. Just making sure I was recording. Triple check. And I was starting the timer for the pizza right there. That's what was happening. So, let's see. Yeah, it was a quicker, a quickie pizza is not on the quick. A fropey. Have y'all ever heard that? Frozen pizza. I get one that is low calorie even high protein. Which makes no sense to the average guy who always pushes the character creation slider all the way to the right. For example, for any girls watching right now, I say rhetorically, which do you think is more attractive? A. Brad Pitt in Fight Club or B. Christian Bale in The Machinist? Now that you've locked in your answer... He's going to say these two are the same. ...reveal how they compare the two, which is, of course, C. They're the same picture. It's just lighting and a pump. I don't think Similarly, so. Similarly, one of the notorious psychological side effects of bodybuilding is that right now there are currently teenage... Yeah, those pictures aren't the same, but let's see what he gets into. a Hollywood into. star like Tom Holland and think, I want to be that ripped one day. But five years later, you'll look at Chris Hemsworth as Thor and think, small chest, no traps, lats are okay, still has a neck. <laughs> 5.5 out of 10. This phenomenon where other people nobody look at you thought and think, that. Damn, looking huge, bro. But you look at yourself and think, I'm so small. I need to get bigger. Is a common side effect of bodybuilding called being correct. Now, in order to cancel no, out any benefit of the it's called body dysmorphia. I have seen people take it way too far, and it's scary. Sponsorship. I wanted to give you the definitive guide to every possible male body type and whether you can actually look like that naturally or not. Let me just open up my shirtless men folder I've been collecting for exactly this purpose. So, no, no, no. Bodybuilding is the safest sport out there if you do not use, um, you know, performance enhancing drugs. We all so, love this one, don't we, boys? Let's see what he gets into Now, here. the primary determinant in what your body looks like is the volume of muscle on your body and the amount of body fat you this have is true. percentage of your overall weight. So, assuming you're about 5'9", the chart looks roughly I'm like five this. I'm 5'9". Hey, hey. Body representation let's see this is gonna be let's see where they say i'm 5'9 i am 185 and i'm pretty jacked i think i'm doing okay let's see about 10 or below but also basically no muscle you'll weigh about 115 to 130 pounds Woo! and look roughly like this by the way he put himself on adobe stock images not my responsibility as you add on more muscle while maintaining the same overall body fat percentage, you can see you go from Twitch streamer to Dude, otter mode, then you're basically 10%. jacked to the tits, and then dice to the socks, then you eventually get to the final form of anyone with wow, a body 185. fat percentage. Holy smokes, I don't look like the 185 guy, but I mean, hey, I look pretty fit. But yeah, God, that guy's shoulders like really bring it out. Shirt. So the second row is exactly the but same. I'm not 10% body, body fat, fat. that's right, I'm 16. Notable physiques in this category include skinny fat, the dad bod, the daddy bod. Then, of course, you have the power builder, which is either an off-season bodybuilder or a power lifter trying to cut. Then, of course, the notorious bear mode. I'm probably, yeah, I'm bizarre, probably the 185. I go between the 185 and, you know, that, between that and that, which, hey, hey, I'm happy enough with. I think I'm, uh, I'm a doing Not okay. Classification. So then at 25% body fat and higher, we have white collar dad bod, the median American, blue collar dad bod, 
the true power lifter, and of course, transcendence. Now, the good news is that first of all, everything in the first column is achievable naturally. All you have to do is as little as possible. Believe it or not. They use, he uses good tropes, tropes, or uh, epithets, not tropes. He's funny with that. Let's Everything see where he goes. In green is likely achievable if I'm right there, that is natural. Anyone. After so. that, yellow is achievable if you have good genetics or are short, which by the transitive property of bodybuilding means that being short is good genetics. Checkmate male models. Everything in orange is basically always going to require you being on the juice, and everything in red speaks for itself. Roughly speaking, if you're five foot nine, now models. Everything in orange is basically always... You know, I've seen people right here who aren't on juice definitely at 5'9". It's very rare. Juice, and everything and in red speaks for that... Roughly speaking, yeah, that's probably if you're 5'9", natural, have extremely good genetics, have been lifting 10 plus years properly, the biggest you can be is about 175 to 195 pounds at 10% body fat. That's Depend probably correct. Yeah. Uh, that's correct. I've been up to 200, but I was a little chunky and, like Adam Anjo you know, or between Mike 185. Mr. Olympia bodybuilders at the same height frequently get on stage at half the body fat and weigh 240 pounds. Being a fan of actual yeah, competitive that's bodybuilding, not there are always a plethora of non-bodybuilding fans who say things to me like, so you, you enjoy watching nearly naked, muscly guys lathered up in spray tan flex next to each other? Yes. Thing is, if you find yourself spending a questionable amount of time judging the physiques of jack dudes and micro thongs, you might say to yourself, wait, I, I thought I was straight, but maybe I am sexually confused. Girls judge other girls when they walk in the room, too. It's okay to notice. We just do it much less because of other reasons. If this happens, just spend the $10 for Vladislava Galligan's OnlyFans, and you'll immediately realize, nope, now that I'm aware of what actual sexual confusion is, I can say wow, hindsight, beautiful I face, but, uh, holy smokes, her biceps are big. They are, are they bigger than mine? Be, oh my land. It's important to know that if you are considering taking steroids or testosterone, Do not it doesn't ever. just enhance your ability to build muscle, it comes with a lot of side effects. These are often considered bad by regular people when they are clearly just small and jealous. These include That's your muscles growing faster than your tendons and ligaments, resulting in debilitating injury. This is also known in bodybuilding as suffering from success. Load and management ball. takes on a this whole new role. Right, load management's already incredibly important, but if someone is on juice, load Facing management's even more important because they can mess themselves up a lot. Now, right, you've seen, you know, muscles they all just think the same thing. Guaranteed crit. Yeah, you don't want Finally, that. this is the opportunity to eliminate that weak spot. Plus, girls will think your dick is bigger because your balls will appear further away. Heighten tendency for aggravation. Would you rather get in one fight and lose it or get in ten fights and win them? Exactly. Suppressed fluid intelligence. You literally won't be able to tell if anyone calls you stupid. Yeah. A lot of negative side effects. There's a whole new slew of people who really no one lifts it. I mean, just a lot of people them. don't lift, Most and then some people just take roids and you get a little bit. I mean, it's just ridiculous. Rock climbing or heli -skiing. Don't Most do people it. Ask, Why do they do it if it's so risky? And the athletes always say something like, I love it so much, I'd die for my sport. In contrast, in... This is applicable for athletes who use performance enhancing drugs, like not natural. Sport. It's worth it though, because if you're 265 pounds. To... No, he's saying that you die early bodybuilding, which you do if you take performance enhancing drugs. But if you're a natural person, then you're more healthy and more insulin resistant. You have more muscle and, you know, more lean mass and less fat and all that. But yes. Obviously, taking performance enhancing drugs and all that is uh, terrible, and uh, you die young. Yeah, in this case, it is totally but that's a small price deal. to pay in the grand scheme of things. So don't get now, too get into that trophy, it. Go to a sushi buffet, gain 50 pounds in a work week, and then live to die another day. Now, if you're looking to get into bodybuilding, here's some advice from someone who's been going to the gym for 10 what, years. What is bodybuilding, there, right? You don't have to progress, obviously. First of all, going to the gym and rapidly progressing for the first you should use machines if you're worried about hurting yourself. The so you barbell. Like having sex for the first time. You say to yourself, holy shit, you? this is amazing. I'm sure this is going to continue at the same rate forever. But no, all progress will be halted when you. That's true. Newbie gains are awesome. You, you, uh, you can put more weight on the bar every single week the first six, eight, Go to ten hard, get your months. Back blown out. 
Secondly, there are some immutable facts of body. Asymptotic after that. Not always.